Let's take some of those calls, shall we? Matt, you're first up tonight. Here's Sir Peter. Yeah, hiya, Sir Peter. Um, Hello. Hiya. Uh, it's to do with uh, be it London streets being gridlocked again. Um, but it seems to be 24-7 that they are gridlocked with empty buses and private hire vehicles. So why on earth are you commissioning another 500 buses when most of the buses are, are, are empty? They're not at full capacity. And don't you think we need an independent survey of bus capacity before you commission these 500? Well, are you a taxi driver, Matt? No, it doesn't matter because there is no. that, that, well, but it doesn't matter because um, um, that's a question that lots of people yeah, have been asking. Well, fair enough. The, the, more, the more people you have on the roads, the more vehicles so, you put, the so, more congestion there is. So the first thing to say is that actually that London's buses are not empty. London's buses are quite full and we and, and the service that we provide in the peak hours is actually really heavily under pressure. You could get another set of people ringing up who say, I can barely get on a bus in the morning peak hour. Those 500 buses over the course of five, six years in the business plan are designed to cope with the demands of London's growing population. And you'd rather have people on a bus than you would driving more cars because that creates even, even more congestion. And I'm not at all apologetic about that. In the off-peak, actually, the bus service is, is designed to be attractive, so so you don't want to wait for a long time for a bus. I, I dispute the fact that they're empty. That's 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 like saying cars are empty, all, all vehicles have got at least one person on, and actually the bus service is not empty. The, the, the average number of people per bus over the complete course of 24 hours is 50% more than in the rest of Britain, and we're putting more buses on the road simply because of the additional demand. Tell me about the extra 25 million in terms of training for the drivers. I did a program last week on uh, how buses are driven, and you want to hear some of the calls coming in. Uh, in fact, I think uh, we've got a, a, a little a, a piece of audio which has acted out a freedom of information request by a, a woman who works here, Charlotte Franks. 4,000 people injured uh, on London's buses. Have a listen to this. I've heard of passengers being dragged along, along the sides of verges where the doors have closed. The front door and the passenger has been trapped in it and the bus has moved off. This is the idea that because they have to stick to a schedule, Sir Peter, uh, that they're compromising safety. And, and I completely and utterly refute that. If you, if you go outside, there are buses all over London, which sadly, because of the... You've, had, you've heard two, two people say, actually, this city is, is currently got a load of roadworks and actually the congest, congestion's quite great. We do not encourage and we, and we don't pay the customer... Uh, we don't pay the contractors to run to a timetable. What we do pay them for is running at, running at a regular frequency, which is quite different. And there's no penalty on the contractors for running late. So there's no incentive to drive like a lunatic. The, the extra money for training is precisely because we have had comments about customer service and we would like bus drivers to be even better at dealing with... What are the sorts of things that this money will go into? So some, some of it will go into uh, uh, specific training to uh, recognise the issues that cycling brings to London because there are more cyclists. Some of it is about smooth driving so that people don't fall over inside the bus. And some of it is to remind people that actually these are customers and actually, actually what you want out of the, out of the bus service is, is customer service. It doesn't mean people aren't doing the job correctly now. I think it's quite difficult to drive a bus in London. But I utterly refute the allegation that we are somehow incentivising people to drive badly. In fact, we, take, we have people who go out in plain clothes in order to monitor drivers um, uh, 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 without them knowing. No, precisely I'll, for I'll, that I'll, reason. I'll put myself up for that job. Oh, you're up in up my pride There will be a reckoning For the peddlers of hate Who spread their 